This is Jeff Fleming, and welcome back to this episode of your Kingsport blog video update. Um, as always, you can get this information at kingsportblogger.com. That's kingsport, B-L-O-G-G-E-R.com, where you can just review the information or you can have it sent to your inbox via email. You can subscribe. Uh, okay, we're going to review some of the top stories uh, based on your clicks for the last 30 days. Uh, the number one click is uh, Crazy 8, which is a Jimboree company, is coming to Kingsport Town Center. And uh, Crazy 8 uh, focuses on tween size clothing, so it'll be right beside Children's Place. So once you graduate out of Children's Place, you can just go right next door and buy clothes at Crazy 8. So that's another new addition to the Kingsport retail portfolio. Uh, and also an important click uh, that based on your uh, input is the Kingsport curbside recycling program. Uh, but in June, early June, they're going to be delivering curbside roll-off recycling containers. And uh, for those of you who recycle, which is approximately half of the households in Kingsport actively participate in the recycling program, uh, you will be able to have a can that's exactly the same size as your current garbage can. Uh, the only difference is it'll have a blue top for your recycling. So if you have avoided participating in the recycling program because it's kind of a hassle to carry the small bins out, uh, you'll be able to roll uh, two containers out side by side. One will be recycling and one will be garbage. So uh, that'll make it much more convenient and hopefully more people will uh, participate in that program. Um, this weekend, uh, Racks by the Tracks, a 10,000 person festival is coming to downtown Kingsport again. Uh, this is uh, uh, several years in a row that this has taken place. The headliner this year is Diamond Rio, and you can still get your tickets at RacksByTheTracks.com. Um, they also have a craft beer tasting uh, area and a high gravity section, so you can kind of buy your ticket based on what you're interested in. So if you're not a beer drinker, such as I'm not, um, there's plenty of things for you to do as well, which you have uh, ribs and racks. Uh, there will be numerous folks that are competing to make the best barbecue uh, that you'll find anywhere. So uh, come out and taste test that and just enjoy a great event uh, in downtown Kingsport. Uh, Tennessee made the CNN Money Magazine uh, top state for retirement. That's out of all 50 states. And I was talking with Dr. Steve Morse from the University of Tennessee recently, and we were going over what criteria went into determining that ranking. And I thought it was kind of interesting to sort of drill down and see what that was. Um, one of the categories was hospital beds per 1,000 population, doctors per 100,000 population, uh, crimes, which would include property and violent crimes per 100,000 population, uh, the state and local tax burden, the average temperature, uh, obviously Tennessee is a very temperate state, and uh, cost of living. So the combination of all of those criteria causes King, uh, Kingsport and Tennessee to rank very high uh, as being desirable for retirees to relocate from other states. So uh, again, that's not those things aren't just appealing to retirees, but those are the criteria that were used. So again, sometimes we take things for granted, uh, but it's nice to be reminded by outside sources that uh, we have a pretty special state that we live in. Um, the Aquatic Center, of course, is opening this Friday along with the YMCA. Uh, if you've not been out there, you owe it to yourself to get out there and at least tour the facility. I know a lot of folks are kind of sitting on the sidelines questioning uh, the investment of the, of the Aquatic Center, but once you see it, it's on par with Meadowview as far as the quality that it's going to offer the area. I've uh, been talking to some personal friends that live um, in the Knoxville area, and they're already a buzz about what's happening in Kingsport and, and can't believe that we have this kind of facility. So they've already made comments that they'll probably be seeing us quite a bit up here uh, participating in, in their competitive swimming events. So again, uh, check it out. It's, a, it's an amazing investment in the quality of life of our community. Um, and again, as you look at that, think about that the fact that it's not just for one age group. It's for all age groups. It's multi-generational. Uh, because wellness uh, applies to everyone. And it's going to be very important in the future that uh, that Tennessee, particularly with its obesity rankings, uh, work hard to improve that. So having uh, an opportunity to, uh, to exercise, um, to be active, and to have this beautiful view of the golf course in Bays Mountain, um, it just kind of ties together so many of the things that we, that we love about this, this region. Um, and then lastly, uh, do you understand the importance of, of shopping locally? Again, that was a click from, from one of your popular clicks. So I'm, uh, while I 
and constantly preaching that. Uh, you seem to be inter interested in it as well because you went to that site and you looked at it. Um, when you buy locally in Tennessee, uh, it is divided 50 cents to the local municipality or county in which the sale occurred. The other 50 cents goes to countywide schools. And it, that 50 cents is redistributed based on average daily membership. So if, if you buy something in Kingsport, 50% goes to the city of Kingsport to provide services like police, fire, public works, schools, those kinds of services. The other 50 cents goes to countywide schools. So um, a, a, the largest proportion of that goes to Sullivan County Schools because they have the largest average daily membership in the county. Uh, and then secondly is Kingsport and third, Bristol City Schools get a cut out of the sales in Kingsport, just as Kingsport City Schools get a cut out of what happens in Bristol, Tennessee. Now, having said that, if the sale occurs outside the county or online, that revenue is lost 100%. And about 24% of our city budget is based on sales tax collections. So you're hurting yourself if you don't support your local uh, local system and uh, or your local community. So just always try to buy locally. I, mean, I know you can't do that all the time, but uh, consider it before you go online or, or go out outside the county and make purchases because it does have a very direct impact on the local services that, that you uh, receive here in Kingsport. That's your quick update from kingsportblogger.com. I'm Jeff Fleming, and I look forward to seeing you next week.